Hello guys, today is my January Thrillers and Killers. If you haven't watched one of these from me before, this is basically my version of a Thales and Holy Grails or my monthly favorites. Now today, there aren't a ton of new products that I tried out in January. I've been saving up for the trip that we're about to take. I did try out some new ones that are included, but most of these are gonna be more of my dry skin essentials, the things I reach most for in the winter per this dry, dehydrated skin. If you do enjoy this video at any time, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll get into these products. Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. I love this. It is one of my favorite body care products. It is quite pricey. I was really only using it very sparingly when I bought it. I say that was about a year and a half ago and then I realized it's probably about to go bad. So I've been using it a lot this month. If I was smarter, I probably would have finished it off because I'm about to do an empties video. It has a lovely scent. It is pistachio and caramel, I believe is how they describe it. And it leaves a little bit of a shimmer on the skin, but you can really only see it in the sunlight, just like a twilight vampire. That's what it always reminds me of. I feel like Edward Cullen when I wear it. I love this so very much. I will definitely be repurchasing this one. I'm gonna get into some skincare items next and then I will move on to makeup items. So some lip care items that I've been loving. This one is the Velour Lip Scrub in Salted Caramel from Jeffree Star. I have three of these now. I just finished, I think I finished it. I may have not, because I like to open new things before I actually finish the old one. Does anyone else do that? I'm so bad with that. This is the Salted Caramel flavor. So I have the Lemon Ice Box that's almost empty. And then I also have French Toast. George got me this one and the French Toast one for Christmas. This tastes so good. What I like about these, I've also tried lip scrubs from Lush and I feel like the ones from Lush are a little bit more oily and I have to use them in the shower. This one I can use on the go. It is edible, so you are supposed to be able to just lick the remainder off. That kind of grosses me out because you're also licking off your dead skin. That That's pretty gross. He does it all the time on his channel and I think that's disgusting. <laughs> anyway, I just wipe it off afterwards and I can do that at my vanity without making too much of a mess but it leaves my lips really soft and I have been reaching for this so much this month and a very beat up container of honey trap from lush I purchased this all the time when I actually work for them and then repurchased it I want to say last spring sometime and I've been going through it I'm reaching for it more now that it is winter time I'm trying to open it I just put lotion on I have used most of it up it is almost empty it has like a very thick consistency to it but it's not too thick you know some balms if they're too thick you can't actually put your, like your lipstick or your gloss on top because they kind of slide around this doesn't do that i feel like it absorbs into my lips pretty fast but it also feels very healing like it's actually doing something and not just coating my lips it smells really good it kind of has like a sweetness to it but there's also a balance of peppermint i would purchase this one again i also like to try out new flavors i think i have cranberry kiss back here in this little vanity thing back here it's a dresser not a vanity in the dresser back here i also have a cranberry kiss but i do do love their lip balms in general and most of the formulas feel very similar and from the ordinary another skincare item i have the 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil if you didn't watch the video where my husband does my skincare routine i'm gonna link it up above it was so funny we had so much fun with it in that video we used this one and i want to say that was maybe the second or third time it was on my skin it was very new to me at that point Ever since, I have been reaching for it nonstop every day. I really enjoy this because I, again, I keep saying fast absorbing, but I don't know any other way to explain it. I feel like it absorbs into my skin really fast and kind of locks in my moisturizer. It says right on the directions that you put it on after water-based creams, which I use the Silk Cream from Tatcha, and I feel like the two of them work very well together. My skin feels really glowy the next morning after I do it, and it smells like tea, which I think is very fresh, so I really like this. This is my third or second Second product I also have an eye serum from them from the ordinary but I really like this one and I would be curious to try other ones from them if you love any products from the ordinary please let me know what they are below last for my skincare this is my number one essential for winter skin I've been using this for about three years now this is the Veda rich cream it's the best it is so good if you have dry skin like me that's just super dehydrated super dry you need this cream. It is so good. I tend to use this in the morning and then I do the ordinary rosehip seed oil and the Tatcha Silk Cream at night. The reason why I like to use this in the morning is that it serves as a barrier. It has an ingredient in it that is made to lock hydration in the skin for 12 hours, which is why I like to use it in the morning time. I feel like it almost serves as a barrier between me and the wind and the chill outside. It also doesn't interfere with my makeup application, which is really important for me. It is rich and it is thick. If you don't like that kind of feeling, on your skin I love it but not everyone does 
you probably won't like this. They do have one that's a little bit lighter with very similar and hydrating ingredients called soft cream. So check that one out if you have a different skin type than me, but I love this. I can't, I can't survive a winter without it. It also smells like sandalwood. I have to mention that because that is my other favorite fragrance. And lastly, some makeup items that I tried out during Drugstore Virgin 2. Obviously, everything so far has been a thriller for me. If you couldn't tell by how much I said the word love, when I watch myself back and I edit these videos, I can't stand how much I say the word love, but you know, it is what it is. That's just how I feel. I feel very strongly about these products. So my only killer for this month was from Milani. This is the Stay Put Brow Gel in the color medium brown. If you watched that video, it was the struggle bus. I did not like this product at all. The wand is just way too fat. Actually, I'm gonna grab my Milk Kush so you can see it. So this is the one from Milani. This is the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. It is three times the size unnecessary i have pretty full brows so i don't need a lot like drawn on i just need to fill in and i don't feel like this dispersed any color it just didn't get down into my actual brow it just kind of lays on top more towards the wand does that make sense i think that makes sense i did not like this it wasn't very expensive but it was definitely a killer for me this month and for my thrillers from Drugstore Virgin 2, I'm going to save this one for last because it is a standout product to me. This one is a liner and it's from LA Girl. This is the Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner in Ultimate Black. Kind of a long name. I have a really hard time finding a liner that actually stays in my waterline. I don't know if my eyes are just watery or what, but some of them just will start to run and then other ones just dissipate. They fade on my actual waterline. This one didn't do that not when I filmed and it hasn't since. Usually when I do a uh, film or do my makeup to film, I'll do my makeup and kind of run around, do whatever else, set up, and then I keep my liner and my gloss or my lipstick or whatever else I'm wearing right here. That way I can reapply right before I start to film. I didn't have to do that today. That is a big deal to me to not have to constantly reapply my waterline so that it stays black. And I just wanna to note too, besides the actual tip, I feel like that just kind of glides on. It doesn't drag on my waterline, but it also has this little cushy tip on it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Right along here, it's grippy, so it's very ergonomic. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't really expect that from an item that doesn't cost very much just to have that extra feature, so that's really cool. I really like this and will continue to use this. And my big thriller for this month. This is the Flower Beauty Full Coverage Light Illusion Concealer. I wear mine in the shade Fair. If you watch the video of the Drugstore Virgin 2, you see me apply this and I'm like, wow. Because the thing is, and right now I have Tarte Shape Tape on, which is full coverage, as you know. You can see this ring right around. I have pretty dark under eye circles. This is with concealer, only one layer of it. I didn't do a double layer, but I have some dark circles. And this, when I put it on with the foundation, I felt like there was no line here. It just kind of blended together. That alone is awesome. I would pay twice the price for this. I would pay three times the price for this, four times the price for this. Really have enjoyed this. I can't stop using it. I'm starting to kind of ignore my other concealers. Love this. And that is it for my thrillers and killers for the month of January. Please let me know below your thrillers and killers for the month. I always like to chat with you guys. If you have any dry skin essentials, we still have a couple months to get through here. The rest of February, March is like a little bit cold here, but we still have some winter time to get through. So let me know what you love. If you haven't yet already, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have, thank you so very much. I thank you for watching, I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.